Good morning. Welcome back to my channel, Brave Designs, where we talk about all things fashion, everything from design to style. Today, I thought it would be nice if I could create a little lookbook for fall activities because I think that sometimes I get stumped or I think that sometimes I have an outfit that I wanna wear. I'm like, yes, it's great. And then I forget about it and I wear something else that I'm not quite as confident in. And I'm like, oh, I really wanted to wear that one outfit. So if you can relate to this, definitely stay tuned because we're gonna go through some of the outfit choices that I would choose and hopefully this inspires you to figure out what you would wanna wear and just go out and rock it. So, before we get started, make sure you subscribe down below to my channel, Brave Designs. Also, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss another episode. You can also follow me on Instagram, at Brave Designs, or on my blog, bravedesigns.com. So, without further ado, let's get started. like Elle Woods whenever I do this hairstyle, you know, when she's graduating, she's just got these little tendrils of curls at the bottom of her hair. That's the look that I'll start with. Eyes, hair, and I'll move on to clothes. Let's get into it. So what I chose was a pair of plaid pants. These are by Free People. I got them from a discount store called Frugal Fannies, which I got these for like $13. An amazing deal. Then this shirt is by Free People as well. That see-through, very tight fit stretch shirt. Then there are subtle tones of brown in the plaid. Can you guys see that? So what I wanted to do was pull out that brown with the accessories. So I'm going to put on the brown boots. Just simple little brown boot. And then, because it is getting a little colder, you know, something a little more, a little heavier, a little more substantial. So this is one look that I would wear this for a beer garden or a wine tasting or a cider tasting outdoors in the leaves, a little bit dressed up, but it's for the day, it's casual. So I would say this is like an, a day kind of thing. Comfortable, casual. We're going with the super rich, warm colors and materials. We've got these velour or velvet high-waisted pants from Free People. We've got this great, fuzzy sweater vest. We've got a luscious Ralph Lauren leather jacket, kind of like a members only style at the neckline. And then we've got a pair of Ralph Lauren booties. I could see this for a day to night look where you're spending the whole day somewhere and you just want to be comfortable, but stylish. I like this look. Okay. So I put this shirt back on, this is the last look. I put this shirt back on because I wanted to go with something that was a little bit more of a neutral and show you how fabric really can dictate the tone of an outfit. So I went with my, obviously my cream free people shirt. We went with a lot of free people this episode, but <laughs> whatever free people shirt free people skirt this is the naomi skirt i don't know it's a bias cut midi length satin skirt and it has the best waistline i love this it looks like a cummerbund that's what it reminds me of and so this is a very cream neutral look but it's that satin skirt that really gives it that edge of being a little fancier. Like that golden material is just, when you walk, ooh, I love it when you see it walk. So then I want to take my thrifted corduroy jacket that has the gorgeous gold lining. See where I'm going with this? Pulling the interior from the exterior and matching that. That way, anytime someone sees the interior of your jacket, they're like, oh, she thought about it. 
she knew exactly what she was doing. This outfit is just perfect together. You can cinch it, but this I just see as another really great going to the winery or beer garden. Just a day fall activity. That jacket. Goodwill outlets. Then I wanted to pull out a few purses because I know I haven't been showing you guys purses with these outfits, but I wanted to show a few for this outfit. I could go with this early 2000s Nine West purse that my Mima gave me way back when. I could go a little fancier with this gold vintage Whiting and Davis purse. I found this at one of my favorite vintage stores in Jersey City. Look at that lining. Um, one of my favorite vintage stores in Jersey City, it's called Another Man's Treasure. If you're ever in Jersey City, I highly recommend going to check it out. They've got a great selection. They're very nice there. So look at that beauty. Ugh. And I'm a sucker for this chain gold lame because it reminds me of my Nana she had a Whiting and Davis eyeglass case and I used to love playing with, it, it used to just be so malleable and I used to just love rolling it in between my fingers. That was, so it's a bit of nostalgia for me to have this kind of purse, but it's very unexpected for this outfit that looks very day, but it can be a very fancy outfit. So. All right, those are my three looks during the day. If you want to get a little bit more dressed up or you want to keep it casual but with a little twist, these are some of my suggestions. Play with plaid. Plaid is a great pattern for fall to play with. Also, play with different materials. So I had the Sherpa jacket with the faux suede outer wear. Then I had gorgeous wine red pants. Now, definitely you wanna pull out those really gorgeous jewel tone colors for the autumn season. And then I've got mixing of materials and neutral colors. So I've got corduroy and I've got satin. And all of these combined makes beautiful, warm, cozy fall look. I hope you guys have fun at the winery, the beer garden that you guys are going to. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so that you don't miss another episode. I do new episodes every week and I love just promoting body positivity and self-confidence and self-expression through your personal style. It's one of the best feelings when you can express yourself through your style so have fun with it thank you guys again so much for watching i appreciate you guys so much and i will see you next time